This year's Hopkinton Annual Town Meeting took place on Saturday, May 8th at the Hopkinton High School football fields. After Articles 1 through 5 passed, Article 6, the fiscal 2022 operating budget, which is over $101 million, passed. So if we look at our actual enrollment numbers over time, and these are the slides I referred to earlier, 15 and 16, you can see that in 2019-20, the student population during the October Sims report was at 3,875. Today, our enrollment in the Hopkinton Public Schools is 4,021. Dr. Wagman's report indicates that at the end of the 21-22 school year, we should be at 4,024. I'm telling you, I believe that we will be there before September 1st, before school opens in 2021, we will hit that number. Right now, we have 328 students graduating from Hopkinton High School. We have 364 students who have enrolled to come into the Hopkinton Public Schools for the fall. These are people who have already gone into our student information system and completed the registration process. More coming in than going out. Some of the most highly debated articles were Articles 35 and 36, both involving solar power. Article 35 ended up passing a standing vote, 126 to 14. Five. All right, thank you, Mr. Moderator. And uh, again, Article 35, just to remind those people that might have missed the previous conversation, this would uh, require a site plan review for all commercial solar projects. It will ensure year-round visual shielding for the life of the project. It will optimize wildlife and trail utilization. It will be pollinator friendly and it will add some additional requirements for developers to ensure compliance, uh, including sightline analysis, glare analysis, noise analysis, full landscaping plan and bonding. So the planning board uh, moves that the town vote to amend the zoning bylaws uh, as set forth in Article 35 of the 2021 Annual Town Meeting Warrant. Article 36, which essentially specified locations solar panels can be installed, failed the two-third majority. Uh, but with 35 in place, that cr creates a lot more requirements for solar developers to do good solar, what I believe to be good solar. Uh, and as a professional in the solar development industry, uh, Article 36 clearly misses the mark. Article 36 will invite lawsuits. Uh, Article 36 is not widely supported by town council. It was a very pleasant way of saying it's a, that we have a different look at our view of Article 36 in general. Uh, Article 36 basically says you can develop solar inside, inside the median of 495. There is solar, to Mr. Weissmantle's point, along the Mass Pike. It is not in the median of the Mass Pike. It's in a couple of the interchanges, but it's not in the median. It's not in the median for a reason. You can't get the power out from the median to either side of the highway where the power is consumed or connected to the grid. You'd have to trench under 495, or you'd have to put wires up above 495 in order to move that power to a, a usable area, if you will. That is a crazy responsibility to put on a solar developer. That by the state, in my, in my view, my professional view, that would be viewed by the state as an unreasonable restriction on solar in the town of Hopkinton, and I think it would get shot down through the lawsuits that would likely come. So uh, for a lot of different reasons, I'll try to be brief here. Put this overlay district uh, is a bad bylaw for the town of Hopkinton, and I would strongly encourage town meeting, voters, town meeting voters not to support it. Article 35 gives us a lot more protections, a lot of screening requirements. It's gonna create good solar in Hopkinton. This is just gonna create law, law, lawsuits and an awful lot of expense for the town. Thank you. Thank you. Article 37, which gave the town say into rubbish collection, featured some debate. The article was a citizen's petition not recommended by the select board nor the planning board. Um, I live in a condominium complex, and this has come up before at town meeting two or three times in the past, and it has been voted down. And I do believe that a number of other issues have come up because of it, and it is that most of these streets in garden apartments and condominium complexes are, are not accepted town streets. So uh, is there an insurance problem? Um, and then it goes on and it goes on, well, they don't get plowed. <laughs> they don't get the trash picked up. And it, and it has been um, voted down at least twice before. And I'm, I'm up speaking against this article.
the article failed to ace standing vote. To see all the results of this year's annual Hopkinton Town Meeting, head over to our website, hcam.tv.